In this three part tutorial series, you will learn how to create this nice looking wooden cup in Blender. You will learn all the fundamentals of 3D like how to model a cup, how to UV unwrap it to give it a nice wooden look, and we will create lighting and materials to make it look like a realistic wooden cup. So this is the part 1 where we will learn how to model this cup. So make sure to watch this video till the end as I will cover all the tips and tricks throughout the video. So let's learn how to create a cup in Blender. Hey what's going on artists, Bishek here from CGInfinite.com. I'm gonna delete everything to start nice and clean and add in a cylinder. Put it on the grid by pressing G and Z holding the control key. And in the edit mode I'm gonna adjust the height of the cylinder by selecting the top vertices and moving them down. And I'll scale down the bottom part to get this basic shape. Next we need to make this part rounded like a cup. So for that I'll add in some loop cuts and scale them up. And don't worry about these sharp turns right now, okay? You just need to have a basic rough shape that looks like a cup at this stage. We're gonna fix this later on. Okay, now the main loop cuts are in the place. Next, I'll add in some loop cuts on the top and the bottom portion for making the handle for this cup. And hold alt for selecting a loop cut. So these are like, you know, the guidelines for the handle. And also let's add a loop cut at the bottom and scale it up a little bit and move this up and obviously we don't need this face so let's just delete that. Okay so now the shape is looking good but it's very thin it has no thickness to it. So we're gonna give it thickness by using a modifier called solidify modifier and the thickness amount decides how thick the object should be so I'm gonna set this to something like uh, 0.025 it depends on which type of cup you wanna make okay now it's time to give this cup smoothness to get rid of those sharp ugly turns and we're gonna do that by adding a subdivision modifier a very common modifier basically this modifier adds extra geometry for us to work with now if we enable the smooth shading by pressing the right click and selecting the shade smooth now you will see that it's starting to look like a cup but if you notice, the inside and the bottom part looks weird. Because this face right here is an n-gon, which means a face that has more than 4 vertices. And we have 32 of them. <laughs> so n-gons are not good to use in a 3D model, okay? Especially when it's not on a perfectly flat surface. So to fix that, select it and press I to inset. So this will work as a tight edge. Now you'll see that the weirdness is gone, leave it here and I'm gonna do it again and make it small. Now this end one is okay, it's on a flat surface and also add in a loop cut here because this part looked very stretched. Next I'm gonna scale this border edge down a bit and you can see that this part looks way smooth which doesn't look realistic. So we will add in a loop cut here, slide it up to tighten that up. Sweet, that looks nice, right? Okay, cool. Now let's make handle for this cup so we can hold it and enjoy our coffee. Okay, before that, you remember we added these loop cuts for making the handle? We're gonna use them, but first we need to rotate this cup so that these faces which are facing in this direction will be perfectly aligned to the x-axis. So in the top view, I will rotate it and hold down the shift key so that it will rotate in smaller increments. So I will extrude this face out again to make the handle, but if you look inside of the cup, surprise, <laughs> we got a hole here. Why do we have a hole here? Well it's because the solidify modifier is applied to the inside of the cup also, and we don't want that right now. So we need to apply the solidify modifier first. I will undo it, and in the object mode I will hit apply. Now if we extrude this face out again. You can see that we don't have that problem anymore. Now we will make the round shape of the handle using a tool called spin tool. You can enable it by pressing the T to bring up the toolbar and clicking this icon at the bottom. Basically this tool spins the selected part of the mesh around the 3D cursor. So it uses the 3D cursor as a pivot point. So I will put the 3D cursor over here by holding the shift and right clicking. And I will left click and drag like so 
and you can adjust the position of it by clicking these arrows and also spin amount by clicking this circle. And in the spin menu you can also set the number of divisions by changing the steps value. I will leave it at 9. Now we need to join these parts so I will delete these faces. Select both border edges, right click and select bridge edge loops. Now we just got the rough shape of the handle, we need to do couple of things to make it look really nice. I'll move the handle up a bit and we will create nice shape for the handle. I'll select these vertices and press O to turn on the proportional editing tool. But as I move it, you will see that it affects the curve too. A little trick to avoid this problem is to select the parts we don't want to be affected and press H to hide it. And now we can shape it as we want. Press Alt H to bring it back and refine shape a bit manually. Then I'll tighten up these ugly parts at the connection by adding a loop cut. Now here's a nice trick. If you press E, it will try to take the shape of one of the adjacent edge loops. And you can press F to decide which edge loop to select. So we're gonna select this edge loop and slide it very closer to it. Not totally because we don't want any overlapping. And we're gonna do the same for the upper part. Now to create an interesting shape for the handle, I will select these two edge loops and add a crease by pressing shift and E and moving the mouse or press N and change the mean crease value. Basically the crease will sharpen up these areas without adding extra geometry like so. Ok in the part 2 we will UV unwrap this cup to give it a nice wooden look. So click this video and I will see you there.